Sometimes people think that getting everybody in the world out of poverty will be a source of pressure and stress on the planetary boundaries. But if we look at the facts, that is not the case. Ending poverty need be no source of pressure on the planet. At the moment, 13% of people in the world do not have the food they need to meet their basic um, nutritional needs. But providing them with that food would take around 1% of the current world food supply. And yet we're, we know that we are wasting and losing around 30% of that. So ending hunger in itself is not a resource pressure on the planet. It's how we organize the planet's resources to, to feed the world. Likewise, getting energy, getting modern energy services to everybody in the world, around 19% of people in the world don't have access to electricity. And yet, according to the International Energy Agency, if you were to get everybody that energy, you could do it with less than 1% increase in global carbon emissions. So tackling carb climate change and getting electricity to everybody in the world are separate problems. We do not need to think that ending poverty is in itself a source of stress on the planet. Um, there are signs of hope of change. We can see from right from the community level, many communities adapting to the new climate reality that they face and finding that they can actually develop and adapt at the same time within the resources that they have. Cities across the world are taking the initiative and saying we're going to become a sustainable city even when national governments haven't put in place the policies needed. So we're seeing it coming from the grassroots up. Many citizens around the world are really desperate to say I want to live a sustainable life. I want to live in a way that I know is just and part of a socially just and environmentally fair world. Uh, we want to put more pressure on governments to turn that into a reality of a policy framework, a set of regulations that all companies and all citizens can live by so that it becomes the norm and the sustainable mainstream rather than something that people who are passionate about it have to keep pushing against the mainstream. Is there anything like a creed de coeur that you would like to, uh, to give to the audience that this uh, documentary might see? When we're talking about the future of humanity on this one planet, we have to think simultaneously about human rights and getting people out of poverty at the same time as living within the planet's limits. It's an incredibly exciting and positive vision. We should all want to live in a safe and just space for humanity. We should all want economic development to be inclusive and sustainable. It's an incredibly exciting vision for scientists to work towards, for economists to frame their work around, and for civil society to mobilize around. We need to get governments on side to pursue that vision in the common interest. Thank you very much.